All this month, we have had the honor of being able to celebrate many of the historically black sororities and fraternities that make up the Divine Nine. And we are rounding things out with none other than the sisters known for finer womanhood. As of this month, the ladies of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated have now been around for 100 three years. So we are so pleased to have the Illinois State Director Karen Quick with us today. Good morning and thank you for being here with us on GDC. Good morning and thank you for the opportunity to have this platform to share more information about Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the discussion uh, and I can tell you I have a few girlfriends who are Zetas that are like, oh, I'm tuning in. <laughs> okay, so first tell us how you ushered in the new year. Well, in the new year, we started off with our Joint Founders Day. So we partnered with our Brothers of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, and we had a huge Founders Day celebration in Tentley Park, over 480 attendees. Oh, wow. So we were excited about that to kick it off, uh -huh. as well as our service initiative for at that event was capturing um, funds to donate to each of our um, foundations for scholarship. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about that service work. Uh, you all's theme this year for the sorority as a whole uh, is the international woman uh, serving and advocating for health justice at home and abroad. Can you tell us how you all plan to live that out here in Chicago and beyond? Yes, yeah, so we're calling that initiative We're Embracing the Swell mm -hmm. and so we are supporting our chapter over in Liberia mm -hmm. where we will be collecting funds so that women can go and have exams for themselves. So we are looking to have a huge impact even here locally but abroad yeah. to impact our international women. How can people support that cause and support you all in your efforts? Yes, yeah, so we you can go to Z5B1920.org mm -hmm. and there should be information out there on how you can give to that our initiative as well as you can go to Zeta Phi Beta Illinois.org and get more information about that initiative. All right, and it's amazing really to see how all of our uh, organizations have adapted over time and still been able to thrive right. for over a century. So how do you continue to grow? And if people ask, what's the point in 2023, what's your response? So how do we continue to grow? We continue to get into our communities and serve as that's one of our founding principles is service, as well as we are on campus, college campuses, building and developing young women through our organizations that we have on the various chapters. And then we also have uh, auxiliary and we're first to have and the only organization who has a auxiliary and those are auxiliary is called Zeta Amikai and they're our friends of Zeta. So they are women who have not obtained a college education yet, but they come alongside us in the community as well to do service. And so that's another way we ensure that we stay out in the community and the blue is out there showing up, showing out, and <laughs> it inspires people to want to be a part of a winning team. Yeah, absolutely. And you all have had a winning team for a long time. Yes. I've enjoyed closing out each one of our segments this month, just showing uh, the reach of our sororities and mm -hmm. uh, the beautiful legacies so many of us hold dear. Yes. A few notable Zetas include Chicago's own Grammy-nominated songtress, Selena Johnson, yes. uh, musical legends Dionne Warwick and Shaka Khan, and the eighth international president, uh, Violet in Anderson. She was the first female city prosecutor of Chicago and first African-American woman to practice law before the Supreme Court. So Karen, thank you so much for sharing with us today. You're welcome and thanks again for the opportunity. All right, take care.